Well, the city is taking a snapshot of the rail project on the road all this week. Tonight, the view of the train is from West Oahu. KITV Horse Catherine Cruz just back from Kapolei with the story. So how do we take care of this 30 percent increase in traffic? It was a packed house for a close-up view of the five billion dollar train. As you might expect, many in the audience frustrated with their daily commute to town turned up to find out what's in the way of getting it built. On any given day, I have to allow an hour and 30 minute drive one way into town. And that's just on a good day. Her priority, reliable transportation, a way to raise her quality of life. There were many attending with ties to the construction trades, some unemployed, and others looking for guarantees of sustained work. It'll create more jobs, get them off the bench, and, you know, get things going for Hawaii. Peralta's looking forward to the day he can jump on the train to get to his job site. Some um, of our jobs, uh, we can leave our tools there. We can ride the bus, uh, hop on the transit, and, you know, head out to work. So when will those new construction jobs start materializing, they ask? The head of the Honolulu Authority for Rapid Transit says hopefully by the end of the year, if the city gets the federal approval as it needs to begin construction on the elevated guideways. Next week, the city begins soil sampling in the Kamehameha Highway area to determine the depth of the concrete pillars that need to be built. Residents in the Pearl City area should expect lane closures. Waipahu residents will see additional work on the relocation of utility lines. Most of them we know, but we may have some discoveries about a real old line. But I don't think that we're going to find some kind of active lines. Maybe there are abandoned lines that we're going to find. Hard officials say the project is broken up into four phases. The first increment from Kapolei to the stadium is expected to be up and running in 2015, with a goal of the completed line in operation in 2019. Now, if the city decides to extend the rail train to Waikiki and UH Manoa, transit officials say it could cost another $3 billion, and that could extend the half percent excise tax another 10 to 15 years. Tomorrow, the city takes the Q&A transit show to East Honolulu. Thursday, it's at Pearl City. The following week, it's Windward Oahu and downtown Honolulu. Laura?